I am currently in a situation with my doctor where I was pretty much told that a particular course of action was the best one. And here in Denmark, I don't know how it is in other countries, I have not looked into it, here we have one certain doctor set to be the one. That there is... That this does not mean that you can't go to other doctors, especially if it is on a specific specific area of expertise. Then you will be going to a different one, but in America, I know I say a lot of bad things about America, and I do want to admit there are some things where they are better. They have... It's, it's a bit of a phrase in America, I want a second opinion. And this means that you can go to a completely different doctor, a doctor you might never have seen before, who can give you a second opinion on the issue at hand. They can tell you what they think you should do, and this might be different from what the first guy you saw said. And thus you can try to work your way towards what might actually be the best course of action here. Now, I'm basically already going against what my personal doctor said I should do, after careful consideration, of course. But the situation here is that if we cannot convince her that another course of action is the one we should take, I'm not entirely sure if we can particularly get a second opinion. And th basically what we're looking at is I might have to change what who my personal doctor is. And th there is a short of shortage of doctors, so my getting a, person, a second opinion might also be partially due to that, but this is an area where I would say we could definitely improve something, because no human being should have to abide by what one other person who doesn't know them, who doesn't see them most of the time, decides based on what in this case was maybe ten minutes of conversation. quite simply, because I am in the great position to not quite diagnose myself, but I can think very much about my situation. I can compare it to other people, and I am in the very fortunate situation that I have smart people in my vicinity that I can ask that can help with these decisions. The people who are not in either of these two positions, resisting the urge to make a sex joke, will be in the situation that they can't, they maybe can't get a second opinion, that they maybe can't get some help. And this might mean that people are getting the wrong treatment. This could be... It could be physical. It, And this is not something that we should just take lying down. I have a personal history with this kind of thing because, as I've already mentioned in a couple of videos, my mother died when I was 12. She was misdiagnosed. She had cancer and this could have been discovered early on, and maybe, just maybe, we don't know for sure, but it is a possibility that if it had been discovered early on, it could have been stopped, because it didn't start in... It didn't start out being fatal. It didn't start out being a vital organ. It spread because dumbass doctors did not do their job. Because she went to one person, 
and he said, oh, it's an ulcer, in spite of the fact that this clearly was contradicted by several of the facts that he was made clear of, that on, clear on, and this went on with, I believe, at least two more doctors. They just agreed with the first guy. They didn't really look on the specifics of this case. And she died, and this might actually... Maybe it could have been stopped. So yes, I do have a bit of a personal history. I do have special motivation, but I am not doing this out of some... lack of faith in medicine or the profession of doctors. And obviously no one should just categorically, just without thinking, go against what some professional has told them. But in this case, I am fairly certain and I think that anyone in any country that can support it should provide several doctors who can give you different takes on what this might be so that you know, so that you aren't stuck with someone I mean, this is not something that just happened. This, There is a history of this doctor being incredibly difficult to convince that there's actually something going on here. And I guess that is what I have to say for now on this particular subject, so... Farewell. If I can hit the button.